Anyone who's been to Cabo also definitely ate tacos, relaxed, had margaritas. So... She would be the one to brag about going to Cabo. She's the one that would travel to Cabo all the time. I'm sorry, I hate her personality so much. The valley girl personality. Doesn't everybody get flown out to Cabo? Doesn't everybody have a creepy guy approach them or hit them up on Instagram to invite them out to Cabo? Dating coaches like Blaine irk the fuck out of me. Simply because they are not people who got into this because they love the craft of helping people out, not because they give a fuck about men that are struggling in this field or who want to have better results, but because they got one lucky fucking video. And from that one lucky video, they realized, hey, I don't have to work a nine to five. I can do this full time. So why don't I just lean all the way into this? They didn't actually go through the rungs to study the field, to learn from the people before them. And then they give crap ass advice. If you want to be a dating coach, take it seriously. You have people's dating lives and lives in general at play. And men are struggling. Men are really hurting to find a partner. They're really hurting to find something that they truly love. And when you come to this field and you disrespect it like this, you don't study it. You don't take it seriously. You'd rather study marketing and how to make more money off this luck that you had. Massive disrespect. Massively disrespectful to one, to the coaches that came before you, the coaches that are currently in the field, also to your audience. And if that is the case, Blaine, where you're doing that, f you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Torpedo their chances of getting girls by making these mistakes on their dating profile that destroy their first impression. In this video, I'll be roasting several profiles that you DM'd me so you can make oh. quick changes on your profile mm. that will get you more matches. Hi, I'm Blaine. I'm a dating coach and I've been featured in Forbes, New York Times, and Insider for helping thousands of clients like you. Let's get into it. Up first, let's take a look at Billy. Right off the bat, Ooh, this my bad. God damn it. This is what I get for not watching the video and wanting to do a blind reaction. Here I am, I'm over here. All right, let's do this again. This is not a good first photo because I can't see what he looks like. I actually like this photo. It's silly, it shows personality, he plays the guitar, he's outside but it should come later in his profile. Your first two to three photos need to be really clear on exactly what you look like. I'm also not a fan of this first prompt. I'll fall for you if you're kind, goofy, and patient. You have very limited real estate on your profile and it should all be used to talk about who you are, how you spend your time, what you bring to the table. You can look at her profile to determine if she's kind, goofy, and patient, or better yet, get to know her in person. Disagree. I think that what you put on your profile should be selling yourself on, from an understanding of what women are into, not making it blatant. Honestly, to be fair, acting as if you're very flippant and playful with it, not taking it too seriously. I find that gives girls a lot more leeway to start the conversation with you. And if they start the conversation with you, if they reach out to you, they are taking an action that says, I must like this person. It's called action feeds ego, ego feeds action. The actions you take create the personality you are. And if a girl's texting you first, that means that she is going to rationalize liking you. And she does it enough times over. And that's always good. But yeah, there's not too much to be said about that. Honestly, the only thing I actually didn't like about the bio, which had nothing to do with what she said, was that he's setting himself as meek and mild. And this is Hinge. Hinge is more for dating seriously. So that might do well. But it'd be better if he was more playful with it instead of being so serious and flat. It's setting the girl to expect him to be that way too on a date and in person. And a lot of girls don't like that energy. Hey, this next photo is just not good. It's like a fish bowl lens. And it's not a becoming photo, a photo on a hat. You know, because I'm such a narcissist, we're gonna do this. Bloop. Yeah. Not good. It's like a fish bowl lens. And yeah. it's not a becoming photo, a photo on a hike with his dog. Amazing, could be great. 
It's just the angle, the sunglasses, it's not doing anything for him, so he shouldn't use that one. The photo of him on the beach could be used in the second half of his profile. I'm talking four, five, and six placement to highlight a way that he likes to spend his time, that he's outdoorsy, but I still don't have any idea what he looks like because I can't see him at all in this photo. I'm gonna mention this just before I forget about it. I'm assuming that she's not going to get into how to actually tell for yourselves if a photo is good or not. There's a bunch of different resources you guys can use. Honestly, just post them up on uh, Photo Raider, Hot or Not, Photo Feeler. Photo Feeler is a little nicer than Hot or Not, to be fair. They'll give you legitimate advice most of the time. Sometimes the girls will say something along the lines of, you look douchey, which if they do say douchey, on a dating app, that's not bad. If you come across douchey in, in photos, there's a lot of girls that would very much like that. But it just triggers some girls. In regards to also figuring out the photos too, you can ask a coach like me, I'm really good at this, or get some female friends, ask their advice, ask a bunch of different girls about the photo, and try editing, re-editing, uh, start over from scratch. I, back when I first started trying to figure out the photos, I would work on a photo probably 10 times over. And the photos ended up coming out a lot higher quality over time and I got a lot better at editing the photos. There's a lot of different strategies you can use for editing the photos. Here's the thing though, do not catfish. You can do slight things, but the photos should always look like you. If you guys get the matches, the girls meet up with you, you don't look like your photos, they're not gonna trust you, that's not great. But there is an edge you can ride on the photos. And to be fair, you can actually push it a little bit further than you think you can. And what I mean by that is, we are experts on our face, so when you touch up your face, maybe a facial expression, a smile, maybe you are hitting a certain angle, you are such an expert on your face that you know when a photo doesn't look like you. If you guys, you guys probably don't know this, this eye right here is slightly lower than this eye. I also talk out the side of my mouth. Nobody would ever notice that, but I do, because I see my face dozens of times a day. So you're gonna notice more of the editing than anybody else will. You can actually ride the edge slightly more than you guys think you can. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's get into it. So it's too high up in his profile. One thing I'd love to know about you is what you like to do that makes you happier than anything else. This is way too generic and broad. It's not an easy thing for her to just reply to, to start up a conversation. It's not nearly specific enough. And of course it tells me nothing about him. Mm. Okay, the photo with his friend, he's the sidekick here, not main character. Her rule about telling a girl who you are is not such a big deal as she's pushing it out to be. Every post must say who you are. No, I actually say in a lot of different factors to be ambiguous. You're actually giving girls reasons to not like you oftentimes. You have to be very picky with the material or the things that you're giving her to make sure that when she does try to figure you out, you want it being refined. There's some things that if you explain or talk about, girls are really bad at finding partners, especially if they're still single. To be fair, there's a big percentage of girls that are still single who are just bad at dating and they're bad at choosing guys. And they'll decide that because a guy shoots guns, I will not like him because he has a, a gun license. And you're going to lose a percentage of girls just to dumb shit like that. There's some things you avoid on these dating apps and you avoid explaining. So I'll put it that way. Character energy. You need to bring main character energy to your profile. More sunglasses, more hats, that's a no. A hallmark of a good relationship is honest communication, quality time, together and apart, boundaries, similar interests, and hobbies. I think most people can say, yeah, I want honest communication, quality time. It's not making him stand out from the crowd. So That's true. No. Okay, I gotta give it to him. His dog is super cute, but your dog does not get a solo shot in your profile. That's true. Take a photo with your dog. Take a few photos with your dog. Looks like they spend a lot of time together but he doesn't get his own real estate. And the photo in the palm tree is doing nothing for me. It took me a moment to even see that he's there. I don't know what's going on and I can't see what he looks like. That's gonna be a no for me. Overall, I think it looks like- Honestly, he could have, if that photo was high quality, he could have zoomed in on it and he could have cut out a silhouette, brighten himself up, changed the background, darken the background a little bit, even raise the vibrancy so it raises the ELO score 
and also the attention span of the girls that are looking at the photo, it would have made it a lot better. She didn't explain that. She just said, bad photo. No, with no <laughs> answer. To be fair, she did give an answer, kind of. But again, she doesn't take photos herself for dating apps. For a girl, you, you can take a photo on the toilet and a girl, you're going to have hundreds of guys still wanting to match with you. It's not the same thing as it is for girls. It's like Billy has a lot going for him and spends his time doing fun things, but his pictures are not high enough quality where I can even tell what he looks like, and his proms aren't telling me anything about him, That's true. and rather focus on what he's looking for. So I see a lot of room for matter. improvement here, and I'm going <laughs> to give Billy a 3 out of 10. Let's look at what Josh has going on. Okay, right off the bat, this first photo is not a good first photo, but it could have a place someplace else in his profile. I love the smile, I love- It's also taken from an iPhone. You can see how his head is warped. Avoid close phone photos because it'll warp your face. And it's when you, uh, a lot of you guys have probably done this where you turn your camera and it shows a face of you and you're like, I'm so ugly, I knew it. Uh, and you flip it around. It's warping your face. It's so close to your face. You can try this out. Take a far away photo, send your face in the photo, and then take a selfie like this or like this or like this. What it's doing is it's bowing out your face to the edges, but the center is gonna be more accurate to the way you look. Love that it's candid, but I don't get a good sense of what he looks like in his first photo. What would make it better is That's if he's looking at the camera directly. Not always, My best true. dad joke. Hmm, maybe a joke about pizza? Nah, it'd be too cheesy. That's cute, that is a dad joke. It's not necessarily telling me any, anything about how he spends his time, but it's telling me he's got a sense of humor and uh, he doesn't take himself too seriously, which I like. Okay, looking at these next two photos, he's in suits in both of them. This makes all three of his first photos in a suit. That's not what I want to see. I want to see some variety. Assuming this guy doesn't wear a suit all of the time, I want to know what he looks like on He's also taking this with a phone too. You see how it's warping his legs? It makes his upper body look oblong and weird. And the way he's smiling is just too nice. It sounds weird to say, but that's a big issue. If you actually cut it off, the photo off, I'd say right above the hands, the photo turned a lot better. He should also play with his skin tone a little bit. He looks pale, and I know it's because there's cloud cover when he took the photo. I'd also brighten it up too. Yeah, and the closing up will also make it easier for girls to see him, but it, the body language below his hands, yeah, I'm right, yeah. If you, if you cut it off even almost to the tie, that's a great photo, if it's a high quality photo. Any other day of the year when he's not wearing a suit. It's almost like I'm good at also, this. Also, his second photo is with a friend. Maximum, I want you to have one photo with other people, and it should be in the second half of your profile, not in the top three photos. The good thing about these photos, though, yeah. is I do get a good... And his friend's kind of dorky, too. No offense to the guy ever watches this. He's just a young guy. But the photo, it doesn't make it look like he has cool friends. Girls care about your friends. If you're going to have photos with your friends, your friends should be high-quality, top-tier guys as well in the photos you're using. The girls are going to look at your friends and be like, this is his social circle. How do I feel about that? So this is this guy's status, because this is his social circle. He's also doing a lot of the same type of photos. That's not good to do. You want to variate it. You want to make it look as if you didn't take these photos specifically for dating apps. I know this is a wedding or something along those lines, but he's using a lot of the same photo in the same outfit. And it's also too soft, again. He needs more masculine pol polarity in his photos. And that suit doesn't scream masculine to me. It screams church boy sense of what he looks like teach me something about dancing you will definitely not be the worst dancer at the party if i am there but i'm always down to get down i like this one it tells me again that he doesn't take himself too seriously he's honestly giving like somebody else a boost saying he's gonna be the worst dancer but he's also saying he's down to have a good time and will dance anyway she's giving that advice that's the best friend advice that's the gay best friend advice no, be you. You're awesome at the way you are. I don't mind it either. And to be fair, as a guy, I find that very endearing. But again, it's not really edgy enough necessarily. It doesn't need to, by edgy, I'm not saying that you have to be Edgar Allan Poe, but there's a, there's a better way to say just that. I would experiment if I were him, I'd sit down and I'd write down 50, 10 to 20 different ways to write that. And then I experiment with them. I put one up, then I put another up, and I try it out. I take the best out of that list, and I try it out. I try it out. I have a list actually on my phone that 
I used to use when I was trying to come up with these uh, prompts and I would brainstorm throughout the day. Maybe something comes to me, maybe somebody say something that gave me inspiration. And then over time I try them out and experiment and I try different things and you get a very good understanding and intuitive understanding of what to put on your profile. And so I think that's cute. I honestly like the photo in scrubs working. I have seen doctors put photos that go actually horribly wrong. I do not want to see the patient. I want to see no skin of who you are operating on, but he does a good job here just showing him working and nothing to ache factor. Best travel story, got caught watching sunset and then having to hike down the four mile trail of Yosemite at night, unplanned. Okay. I want to know more. Did you make it down? Exactly. Uh, what happened? Did you take any tumbles? There's mm -hmm. a lot of questions that could be asked about this story. And it tells me also something about how he spends his time. He's outdoorsy. Agreed. He's someone who stops to take time to enjoy a sunset. Mm -hmm. um, he's been to Yosemite. So multiple conversations can happen mm -hmm. from there. So I like that one. Overall, Josh's profile is pretty good. I feel like I have a good sense of who he is and how he spends his time. What I would really like to see is more variety in his photos, what he's doing and what he's wearing. So I'm gonna give Josh a seven out of 10. Let's look at Rennie next. Right off the bat, you might know what I'm gonna say here. You never have sunglasses in your first photo. That's always a no. I have no idea what this guy looks like. I do like the feature on Hinge where you can do a multiple choice. It wouldn't be bad as a last photo or a second to last photo, but as a first photo, I agree with her, no question but this question isn't interesting because he's asking for what the, your first getaway should be bahamas dominican republic or puerto rico these are all kind of beachy destinations that don't differ from one another a ton so it's not actually going to tell me a lot about either person by what they the actual problem with this is that it's too forward too fast and it makes a girl think oh he's going to be needy he's going to be all over me without even knowing me Girls, and it's also a lot of pressure, which can cause a higher flake rate. Girls want to have a fun time on a date. And if a guy is high pressure without even knowing her, the guy doesn't have options. The guy's not capable of talking to her like a human being. That's what a girl would worry about with that. It's too forward, too fast. It's going to scare a lot of girls off, which sounds really dumb. And I know it sounds dumb. Blame women. I apologize. Blame them. I didn't make the rules. They pick here. I would choose something totally different or make the getaway options. One's a mountain destination, one's a beach destination, one's a city. That's how you're going to learn about somebody. Best travel story, seven days in Cabo San Lucas, eating tacos, relaxing, drinking margaritas, and exploring. Is there anything else to do in Cabo? Anyone who's been to Cabo also definitely ate tacos, relaxed, had margaritas. So... She would be the one to brag about going to Cabo. She's the one that would travel to Cabo all the time. I'm sorry, I hate her personality so much. The Valley Girl personality. Doesn't everybody get flown out to Cabo? Doesn't everybody have a creepy guy approach them or hit them up on Instagram to invite them out to Cabo? No. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Oh, this is not interesting. <coughs> it's not actually a story. It's very generic and it doesn't get me interested in knowing more. Wow. This is an awful photo and he's waxing his nose True. hairs. This might Bad. be a funny photo on your Instagram for your friends. It's no. not for your dating app. Not even profile. Instagram. Okay, we've got a video here and it looks like maybe his no. hand got bit by something. I don't really know what's no. going on. I can't tell and I can't see what he looks Girls like. Girls don't care That's about that no. stuff. A shower thought I recently had, since I don't have roommates, it means I can just walk around my house naked whenever I want. It took you getting in the shower to... So whenever I see a profile, the reason that anybody ever posts anything in the profile, if you look at a girl's profile, she put it up for a reason. It's not just random. She's trying to elicit a certain reaction from the guys that look at her profile. He's trying to elicit a certain reaction from girls on his profile. And the only reason I think that he's saying this is he's hoping... I, he might be bragging about living alone i think he's bragging about living alone <laughs> okay i realize that this doesn't seem like an aha moment it doesn't give me anything to smile about or laugh with you about i maybe he's trying to flex that he doesn't have roommates but it just doesn't come across that way that prompt is going to be a no if you're going to use a photo from a sporting event one, the sport, and more importantly, the team needs to be a parent because that's something that you can connect with somebody on. I can tell that he's a cuter guy than comes across in the photo of him. Again, a little closer up. I'm not going to say too close because the background's really cool. 
a little closer. I'd also separate him from the background, brighten him up, play with the color so it doesn't look blown out. And girls will be able to see it a lot faster, a lot easier without thinking too much. You want a girl to not have to struggle to see what you look like. You want her to really quickly because in marketing, there's an idea that when you add confusion to a product, unless you're adding curiosity, that's different. But if you're adding confusion to your to your pitch or people are confused by, about anything around the product, it causes people to just automatically say no. They're not gonna take the time to try to figure out, they just automatically say no. It confuses them too much. So make sure your photos, if they're this dark, try your best to brighten them up, separate yourself from the background, brighten it up, play with the colors. Try to make the photo, for this photo right here, because it is so cool in the background, it's, hmm. I try to show as much of that as possible, but I would bring it a little closer to the front to try to show off his face more. Waxing his nose. So that's a good thing, but it's just not obvious. This year I really want to swim with sharks and travel as much as possible. I guess swim with sharks is interesting, but I would make that, if you were gonna use that prop, I want it to be more specific. This year I really want to travel to South Africa to swim with sharks. Give it a little more as specificity, to make it more interesting. Travel as much as possible is so generic and boring. I gotta say, I find skydiving photos pretty boring too. I feel like everyone who's been diving once feels the need to use a photo of them with their instructor in their profile where you can't see what they look like and it doesn't really do much for us. And then we've got a photo of him in Cabo San Lucas. I feel like this guy's whole personality is that he's been to Cabo once. <laughs> Brittany, it looks like you have a lot going for you. It looks like you probably this. go on cool trips. Get they just aren't being highlighted well here. Get and you really yeah, need better photos. For that, I'm going to give you a 2 out of 10. Josh is up next. I love how vicious women are with dating profiles. Uh, my guess is nobody's getting a 9 or a 10. That's my guess. She has to do a 9. Josh is up next. Okay, this first photo is obviously not good because we can't see what he looks like and he's with a girl. I want someone who is rich and has lots of hunting land. Oh, wait, what? Okay, um, a photo with him and a friend. Not sure which one it is, so that's going to be a no. The photo with the kittens, this is getting me... This is getting closer. I love a good kitten photo, but it could be used, you know, in the second half. He's insecure about his face and the way he looks. Everything he's doing, so he took a picture next to a girl, next to his friend. He's trying to take attention off himself, I believe. And right here, his face is partially covered. So he feels a little bit insecure about his looks, which he could totally work on. It looks like he's a little bit overweight. He could work on his beard more. He could dress differently. This whole camo look oftentimes is not looked upon very positively by girls unless you do it in a very specific way. And the way he's doing it right now does not look that good. He's also, he doesn't have too much of a fashion sense and his car's dingy. That photo right there is blown out and he could have wiped off the lens a little better, but it looks like it's an overexposure problem. Yeah. Of his profile if he had other great photos, but I don't love it as in his third photo. A life goal of mine is to have a trophy wife whose family is located. Okay, wait, is this guy clowning us? My most irrational fear appears to end up with someone who is poor with no <laughs> lamb to hunt, and then we've got a dead animal. I don't know what's going on here, but I think Josh is- I think he's trolling her. Clowny has yeah. zero out of 10. Last but not least, or I guess we'll find out, is Ezra. Let's see what he's got. Okay, him and a cute pup. That's a good All photo. I've got to say here is this better be your dog and they're in your first photo. What would make this photo better is if he was looking at the camera I have touched on that, but looking into the camera's eyes, making that firm eye contact is going to help you stick. Not always true. I have a lot of photos where I'm not looking at the camera that rate very high. Rules like this are always super weird. I mean, there's a, a lot of people in the men's dating industry, if she studied it all, that say that you shouldn't look at the photo, which the reason that is is because they haven't figured out how much facial expressions really matter in a photo and body language matters in a photo for a girl. And so when you look at the, with, at the camera and you have bad facial expressions or you're nervous, it lowers the rating of the photo. So guys, after probably honestly split testing for a while, didn't realize this because they don't go out and game that much. They mainly try to honestly figure this out specifically. And 
I mean, they're not... <sighs> I split tested a lot of photos to figure this out, by the way, guys. A lot of photos. I would split test the same photo in the same spot with different emotions and, and maybe one time when I was out of it, then I took another photo while I was in it and completely different rating scores. Yeah. Stand out when a woman is looking at a thousand profiles. My BFF's take on why you should date me. I'm resourceful AF and staying <laughs> calm is my superpower. So if we're stranded on a desert island, we'll have a good chance of He's survival. Say she likes that. I love that. He's telling me things about him, but in a fun, playful it's way. He's not just saying I'm super resourceful and calm, which is boring. He's resourceful AF and staying calm is his super. It's also cocky to say it that way power this gives me an idea of who this guy is and honestly i feel pretty good about being stranded on a desert island with him Ooh. i like that prompt he's got a video second oh, yes. okay i don't love a video for a second because it doesn't give me a great idea of what he looks like well, but it does show some person is again it's confusing what is he even doing why is he even taking that video is he doing karaoke and what's that weird gesture thing he just did or that weird thing he did on the fucking camera. Personality, <laughs> so I'd be okay with him using that someplace in his profile. As for his third photo, it's a nice photo. His posture isn't perfect, but he's still not looking at the camera. I want to see in those first three photos, ideally number one, a photo with strong eye contact, which he's missing, but they're not, they're not bad photos. I'm looking she for my partner rules. in compassion. This city already has enough crime. That's cute. It's a play on a partner in crime, which please never use on a dating app because it is so generic. But he's using that and saying his partner in compassion. He's telling me something about who he is looking for without saying it directly like we saw. By the way, guys, for the most part, I wouldn't worry too much about these. There are certain rules and ways to utilize this stuff. I mainly use it to, one, tell something about myself that will the girl will find attractive, be playful, make the girl laugh. The stuff that they're trying, though, to make a girl laugh, it's, a lot of it's really corny stuff. There's better ways to do it. And I mean, if they were to sit down and plan some stuff out and just brainstorm over time, they'd figure something out. They also, I mean, to be fair, if the swipe rate on a dating app is 80% the photos and 20% the prompts, use that 20% instead of trying to sell yourself to instead give the girl something to talk about, which this does, the last one does. They do, they do have the dual role. They have the dual role of giving her something to talk about, but there's better ways to do it. This is pretty late in the video, so I imagine not a lot of people are gonna watch this part, but I'll put it this way. I'm not gonna give away mine, because I'm not gonna let you guys use that, and I have a lot of my clients use it currently, but I'll give you guys a hint. The, the bio you have honestly should bait her to ask you something about her so that you can give her a reading of some sorts, or you can tell her more about herself. Honestly, it, that's the best thing I've found so far from split testing. And that should be in the top of your prompts. The rest of them can be something similar to this. I do like the way he's doing it. But he, you should be somebody who is split testing prompts and whatnot and trying different things. There's, there's more purposes to a prompt than to getting a girl saying yes to you. So keep that in mind. On some of the other profiles, this is a really cute prompt. Okay, we've got a photo of him jumping into the water. It tells me he's outdoorsy, he's adventurous. Looks like he's in his underwear, so I can assume this was an unplanned, spontaneous swim. That little photo actually tells me a lot, even if it's subconscious, about who he is, so I like it. I want someone who will be the last one on the dance floor with me. That's cute. Short, to the point. I know who he is, and again, Aww. who he's looking for without him saying it directly. The photo, we know it's with his sister and nephew because he specifically has that label, so mm -hmm. we're not wondering, oh, is this his other family? Yeah. Um, which is helpful. It tells me he's a family guy. I like that. And mm -hmm. then we've got a photo of him mountain biking. Again, it's telling like me that. how he spends his time. He's outdoorsy. He's adventurous. Overall. Guys that are attached to that sport specifically are really attractive because they're usually confident guys for whatever reason. There are certain activities that are attached to a guy that is cool and look to the guys that actually are cool what things do they do they don't play video games so don't try to post them about video games they generally are outdoorsy they like sports working out they like singing they they like very outgoing 
things, not things where it's video games and, and attached video. The idea of video games is attached to a person that is not attractive to girls. So keep that in mind. You're trying to tell her a story, trying to give her an archetype. Your, your dating profile should sell an archetype of that, which a girl finds attractive. Now let's see what the hell she's about to say. Oh, this is a really solid profile. I really liked the prompts because they gave me an idea of who he is and who he's looking for, for without saying it directly. His photos are pretty good. I would say he could use a couple more photos where he's looking at the camera, but overall, super solid. I'm gonna give Ezra an eight out of 10. Ah. These guys have potential, but a lot of them are shooting themselves in the Means foot to swipe with on bad <laughs> photos and uninteresting props. If you found this video helpful, <coughs> make sure you tap that subscribe button for more tips. She has a lot of viewers and she couldn't find a better profile than that. That tells you how picky girls are <laughs> she has a lot of followers and it's not because she gives great advice it's because she looks like this and that makes me mad i don't like that shit it's not because she's actually a talented coach or has put a lot of effort into this to be fair decently was handed to her i mean i imagine that she got very lucky with that first video and then she had the gall to chase it and she does have products out which is cool but she's not in this to be an incredible coach she's in this for clout i imagine and also to make some money. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I hate the fact that people like this are coming into our industry, especially with the organic reach that YouTube and TikTok had during the pandemic. It had a lot of people flood the industry that had no fucking idea what they were talking about. If you guys have any questions, leave in the comment section below. And this is free content. If you guys wanna support the channel and blow it up, hopefully one day I can be bigger than Blaine and help men out. The way that I can get there, though, is by you liking the channel. But by liking the channel, you are supporting me and helping me get my message across to a wider reaching audience. And I would love to do that. Or if you want to support me by getting coaching, you can text me up at 702-841-9909. And with that being said, peace. Yeah, I flow like a river, I'm a big wave. And this ain't the kid is sick enough to spit AIDS. Get paid, leave a brother limping if he bitch made. Reaching for my trigger while I stick you with a switchblade. Ah, real players never get played. Always getting bitches, I've been pippin' since the fifth grade. Listen to the kid, he's just so vicious, how he spits rage. Wishing you could diss somebody, rips it like a slip page. Yeah, see, I spit it on a nightly. Got the kind of flow that's